What's up guys, Recon here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on tank tracks, or treads. Um, basically on the forum, some dude was having trouble making them, so, and I, like completely by coincidence, um, have been making a game where I have a robot that has tank treads. Um, I'm making a tower defense game, and I there's a in my game there's like this mech that you can upgrade and stuff. And the first mobility, like legs, part upgrade, are tr like is treads. That's like that's the default, and then you're gonna be able to upgrade it into like um, bipedal like legs, and then upgrade it again to like flying jetpack or something. But for now, it's just treads, and I actually, they're already made, so so I figured a tutorial would not be that hard to do. So here you go, dude. Um, I'm not gonna, not gonna show you the whole level. I'm, I'm gonna save that for a second, a different video. There's one more tower that I have to finish um, before I make a video on the tower defense game, but we got all these towers. I have to finish the launcher. It does not shoot yet. I have not coded the rockets. Ugh, that's gonna be fun. But anyway, here it is. Here are the treads that he wanted help with. Um, before I tell you how it works, let's show you it. <laughs> Funny thing, in my game, um, in my game, the mech isn't actually made yet. I mean, it doesn't actually, like, work, sort of. Um, I haven't figured out how to code it to go over terrain. So right now, when you press space, right now it's just this. It can, it can run on flat terrain just fine, but... So as you see, it can go forward, backward, and spin. And you see, you notice the treads. <laughs> in and my uh, perspective at least from my perspective they look really really good um i'm going to tell you right now they're fake they're not actually moving they're um just completely visual and they look awesome i i hope there's no like lag making it look different for you guys but um so yeah here here they are the robot's gonna have a head and arms and stuff, just not yet. All right, let's find out how they're built and coded. The code is a pretty big part of it. So, um, there has to be a better place to do this. Let's do it over here. One second. All right, here it works. All right, so let's. Oh, we can just do this. Um, this is one side. I built one and then copy and pasted it. So as you see, it looks a little bit different. Let me let me take it apart. I think you guys might be able to figure out how I did this, or not. I don't know. All right, you see one, two, three. Now, I what I did was I built this, or I built one of these. Let's just say I built this one. I just made this from scratch. Then I copy and pasted it. So I copy and pasted it, and I oh that's not oh wow. Whatever I copy and pasted it, <laughs> and I laid it right next. I laid the copy right next to this. And I painstakingly moved each little bar over just a little bit. So as you see, they're offset. The, the two is a little bit about one third of the way down from this, this side. And I did that for every single one. For this side, it's up. But 
I just moved every single one a little bit. Now, like from from this one to this to this one, they're all glued. So I just had to move the whole thing over. I didn't move every single one literally, but you get the point. So I, I just moved every single one over a little bit, and then I copy and pasted the new one, and and I did the same thing. I moved it up just a little bit actually this wait uh, it looks like I moved this one up a lot but yeah so okay so this one let's look at these three it's this one and then it's a little bit lower and then it's a little bit lower and then if we put this here it's a little bit lower <laughs> And the idea, which works, um, is that only one of these is showing at a time. And the code alternates between showing all three. At first, I had... Actually... No. I decided against it. At first, I was going to have just two and like flip back and, be back and forth between them. But I didn't think that would work. So I went with three. And three seems to work pretty well if you went with four I wouldn't recommend that because it would appear that the treads are moving really slowly because okay um, let me show uh, I'll explain that later but let me just show you how it's coded so this is how you build this is how you actually like put it together and, and then you got the wheels you can do that however you want um, just make sure just make sure they rotate like that that is important. Okay, so let me put this back together really quick and show you how it's coded. I don't think there's code in... No, there's not. Good. That's off a little bit, sorry. There, perfect. Um. Let me just put this back. Alright, let's check out the code. Um, there's two sets of code. There's the main controller, which I put in here. This is the main controller. And then there's individual controllers. That doesn't make any sense right now, but just let me show you. So, um, let, let's take a look at this. So, the first page is called Stopped. 1, 2, and 3. That is really annoying. One, two, and three, um, they represent each, each tread. See, like, this is box three, and there's two and one. So each box represents one of the, um, one of the treads. So when it's stopped, all right, so when you're not inputting any controls, two is visible, and one and three are not visible, all right? Uh, page two is forward, page three is backwards. Because there's no left and right, because it's just one side. And since these are tank treads, they can only go forward and backward. So, page two, forward. When the page is entered, one, one turns visible, and two and three are not visible. So, it goes from two being visible to one being visible. And then, you enter this beautiful code um, <laughs> all the meanwhile these glued objects are the um, are the wheels so while while it is on page forward the wheels are always spinning at that speed I figured it out by testing what speed worked the best um, so when you enter the page it goes from two to one so now one is visible and two and three are invisible um, this is the, okay, so, <laughs> every three frames, for one of the frames, one is visible, and for the other two frames, one is invisible. So that's how this starts, right? After, and then countdown timer, one frame, so after one frame, two is visible. And then 
for two frames after that, two is invisible. And after two frames of being on this page, three becomes visible. And then after, and then two, and then for the next two frames, three is invisible. So basically, what this does is stagger th this countdown timer and this countdown timer staggers the one, the treads one, two, and three, so that only one is visible at the same time. Yeah, at at a time, not the same time. So only one is visible at a time. And in this order, one, two, three, it appears to be going forward. Backward, it started at two, now, now three, now it goes to three. For the backward page, three starts out being visible, and then after one frame, it's two, and then after two frames, it's one. So it's backwards. That's how the code works. Um... Notice how they're only visible for one frame. That is the shortest amount of time they can be visible for. So if you added a fourth tread to make it even more smooth, to make the animation even more smooth, it would appear to be going slower. And I mean, you can do that if you want, but it's even more work. It's not fun. So that's the code for the individual, like for the right side and the left side. The left side... I'm pretty sure is exactly the same. I'm fairly certain it is exactly the, yes. Okay. Exactly the same except this is inverted, all right? Oh, but that's yeah, duh. Okay. But for this side, this the backwards is inverted. The forward is not inverted. The backwards is inverted. For this side, the forwards is inverted, <laughs> okay? Um, you'll figure it out. Now, so now that we've got forwards and backwards down, now the controller, now the thing that um, tells which side to go forwards and which side to go backwards, as well as lets you move the thing forwards and backwards and, uh, and rotate. I put it in the main piece. You can put it wherever you want. All right, um, win global game mode equals mech. This is just how I activate it. Ignore that completely. Um, this ignore call page menu. When I'm in the menu of my tower defense game, I have the thing spinning around. It's just spinning in place. See, the right side goes forward, the left side goes backwards. And on the screen, I have coming soon. So, yeah, that's... That's what that line's for. You can't... Currently in my game, you can't actually use this. Anyway, ignore that. This line. And this line. So, this should be all the way over to the left. All these should, can be all the way over to the left if you want them. First, um, call page camera. Every... Let's go over the last. Um, okay. So, each keyboard, each... Um, WASD corresponds with a page. When you press in W, it switches to page W, which happens to be 2. When you release W, excuse me, um, when not W, so when you release it, after you press it in, when you release it, um, right, left and right are switched to page stop, and this is switched to page 1. Now, when when we're on page W, so this is when W is being pressed in. Logic Cube, this is this. This whole thing is attached to this. And I made it face... If you didn't know this, this green rotating thing is the direction of forward for the object. So as you see, this where my code is, this is, this forward is this way. And that's kind of annoying. So I attach this whole thing to a cube facing the correct way. And this is the cube here. This is the mover. This is what moves the thing. Um, when we're on page W, when W is being pressed in, mover moves forward. Right that's this right. 
is switch to page forward, and left is switch to page forward. So when W is being pressed in, both of the treads are having the animation of forward running, as well as the mover is moving forward. It just so happens that um, move without any speed command is the perfect speed to make it look like the treads are actually propelling the machine, which is really nice. Um, I already explained this. And when you press S, when, when, you, can't, you can't be on two pages at the same time. This is deliberate. So you can't press, well, you can press W and S, and whichever one you pressed first is the page you're going to be on. That is deliberate. <laughs> you, you don't want to be going forward and backwards at the same time the animation would, I don't know, that would be weird. Um, so when you're on page S, it moves backwards, right and left are set to page backwards, when you release, they're set to page, it's the same thing. Now, this is a little bit different, I guess, when you press D, the mover yaws, or rotates, I believe this is clockwise, I assume, which makes sense, because D is on the right, so it's going to rotate clockwise. Right, the right side moves backwards, and the left side moves forwards, which is what would happen if you wanted the tank to rotate clockwise. And if you press A, rotate counterclockwise, yaw, invert, and the right side goes forward, and the left side goes backward. Um, now call page camera. Okay, so, don't want to forget about that. Call page camera is on every single page. Call page camera, call page camera, call page camera, call page camera. That's the menu, ignore that completely. This is page camera. To follow camera with ignore prop collision because this whole thing is a shitload of props. Like, a lot of props. Keep that in mind. It's like 500, probably not 500. I don't know. Anyway, it's a lot. Um, don't make more than one. <laughs> if, if you're concerned about props, don't make the treads as big as I did. These are, this is pretty big. You, if you, if you space them out more, you're going to use less props. Anyway, sorry. It, it's just a camera with the min distance of 100, minimum distance of 100, so you're not really close to it. So that's everything. Um... I attached everything instead of glued, so it's easier to work with. I would recommend doing the same. Um, yeah, and the effect, I'll show you again, is a really, really nice looking tread. There's probably a way to make it so the treads follow a path, but I wouldn't do that because that probably would look really bad. So. This is what you get. Now, let me show you what it looks like when I turn the graphics up. My computer's going to lag and it's not going to look as smooth. It might look as smooth, but I don't think it's going to look as smooth. Actually, I know it won't because I've done it before. Check this out. It, it doesn't... I don't know. It's just... It's not the same there's like a frame rate drop and because I'm working with one frame at a time it doesn't like the the animation doesn't connect I guess I don't know I, it looks a lot better <laughs> not literally but the animation looks a lot better uh, with lower lowered graphics graphic settings and check out this is why <laughs> this is why the mech isn't working yet I need to find a way, I need to code a way, rather, to make him be, make it be able to climb over these bumps. Or, I kind of just thought of this, I could make everything flat, but that would be kind of boring. I'm probably going to end up doing that, but whatever. Um, this is how do you make treads. I, yeah, I, I went over all the code. I did not build it with you, because I am not building this again. That took such a long time. Guys, I, I hope this is what you were looking for. Um, let me look up your name really quick.
Do, do, do. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tarkival. Um, or Tarchival. Probably Tarkival. I hope this is what you were looking for. Um, it's really, really awesome that I just happened to have it already built. <laughs> um, so here you go, dude. For your game, I would really, really recommend uh, putting the time in and building this. Because it looks really good. <laughs> Your game looks really good, and this would just make it look even better. So here you go. I, I hope this is what you were looking for. See you guys later.